Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. When Rebecca and her husband got into a serious traffic accident with their car, their son Alfred was still seven years old. The accident took his father's life while Rebecca became disabled, and this made her life very complicated as she was no longer able to run her business there. Rebecca is ready to do anything to educate her son and make him a successful young man in the future. For his part, Alfred was aware that his mother was physically disabled and could not work, so he refused to ask her to buy clothes, toys, and other things that his peers wanted. Alfred was suffering from bullying from his classmates. They laughed at him because he was poor. As they noticed that the boy always came to study with the same clothes, and at the end of the week they became dirty, so he washed them and himself and put them back on at the beginning of the week. Although Alfred was watching his classmates change their clothes every day and come to school with the most delicious sweets, cakes, and nuts, he didn't care about that. Realizing that his mother could not provide those things, she barely managed work as a cleaner. The students named Alfred the Homeless, and they started to gather around him in the schoolyard and say sarcastic words to him. No one would stand by him and ask these children to stop disturbing him. Even the teachers didn't try to forbid the students from harassing the boy, even though they realized that he was poor. The headmaster and teachers did not care about Alfred because his mother did not show in parents' meetings. The latter spends her day to earn money to feed her son. This is why she didn't care about the child and considers him as if he's not in school, despite his good results. They did not realize that his mother was disabled. Rebecca used to go out to the market every day in her wheelchair and sell seeds or grains, but she earned little money. Therefore, at the end of the day, she collects the cardboard boxes and sells them to a factory in town that recycles paper. Her son, Alfred, helps her as he leaves school and goes to the market with his mother, and together they go wandering the city streets and collect cardboard and papers in order to earn more money. When Alfred entered ninth grade, he was doing well in school, but one day he came home depressed and told his mother that the sports teachers have kicked him out of the hall because he didn't have a tracksuit. Then his mother felt great regret and kept crying there. The woman suddenly remembered that she kept his father's tracksuit in a closet, which she'd been keeping for years. She's well aware that it doesn't keep pace with the current fashion because it's old and it will cause his son embarrassment with his colleagues. However, she didn't want her son to be excelled from sports classes again because this would affect his school results. Rebecca called her son and asked him to try on that suit. The boy got tall, so the suit fit him, but it was wide and it made him look funny. Rebecca pretended that the suit fit her son a lot and asked him to wear it for the next class. When the time for the next sport class came, the boy put on the sports suit that his mother gave him and went to school. And as soon as his classmates saw him, they gathered around him and kept laughing and mocking him. Then Alfred entered the gym right away, and because he realized that the sports professor was a very strict man, and all the pupils feared him, so they would stop laughing when they stood in front of him. When the sports professor noticed the suit that Alfred was wearing, he was surprised at first because he had a suit like it years ago. So he approached the boy and asked him where he brought it. Then Alfred told him that it belonged to his late father. The man realized that the boy might be poor and did not find money to buy a suit. So he tried to pretend that the suit was normal and kept looking at the students sternly so that they would not laugh at the boy. When Alfred came home in the evening, he found his mother waiting for him, eager to know what the sports session was. Then the boy smiled and told her that everything was fine. In addition, he refused to tell her that his colleagues mocked him, as he realizes that it's the most she can do, so he didn't want his mother to feel guilty and pretended that everything was fine. The boy never told his mother that he didn't have friends at school and that they made fun of him in his clothes, because he realizes that this will hurt her a lot. This is why he pretends that everything is going well when his mother asks him about studying. Rebecca believed her son's words because she noticed that his academic results were excellent and he was one of the best students. The boy passed final exam with high results until the graduation party, which is the party that everyone's waiting for. For teachers, students, parents, and the principal, and school workers, this is why students buy new uniforms. Alfred was well aware that he could not buy a new suit, and he decided not to tell his mother about the prom, so he kept thinking about how to get it. The boy went to his late father's wardrobe and stared there at the old clothes, and there he found a black suit that Rebecca had kept since the wedding. 
and then his father had hid it in the closet, and no one wore it after that. The suit was beautiful, but it didn't keep up with fashion. People stopped wearing it several years ago. But Alfred had no choice and decided to wear it on the day of the graduation party. Before the party, the parents of the students gathered to plan to organize it, as they wanted it to be a luxurious party and be enjoyed by all, so that it would remain a memory of their children preparing to enter university. The director asked Alfred to attend the meeting on behalf of his mother, so the boy had to attend among a large number of parents. During the meeting, a woman dressed in elegant clothes and carrying a valuable phone in her hand told Alfred that the parents of the students would collect a large sum of money to organize a party for their children. And she realizes that he will not be able to contribute that amount, just as he does not even have the suit with which to attend the party. So she advised him not to come. Especially since a professional photographer will photograph the party is why all parents want the party to be beautiful and not show students wearing worn clothes. Meanwhile, the boy stood from his place and told that woman that he would not attend the graduation party. And then he left the hall, quietly. Then the parents of the students in the hall laughed and continued talking about the details of the party. The boy decided not to attend the party because his presence there would disturb everyone. And he waited for the end of the school season and then went to get his diploma, after which he completely disappeared. After 15 years of graduating that class, the principal decided to cooperate with the youth who were studying in the Alfred class and those who became all working in that city to organize a party in honor of that batch, where they booked an upscale restaurant in the city and communicated with each other through messages on social networking sites. In addition, set the day to meet in that restaurant and celebrate 15 years since their graduation. The young people found each other, and only Alfred was left, who was out of sight, so they kept wondering about him and laughing. They agreed that he might be begging in another city, as he and his father used to do when he was studying with them at school. Everyone laughed when they remembered the boy and wanted to see him laughing again. On the day the party is scheduled to be held, all young people gathered in front of the restaurant door, all wearing elegant clothes. In addition, some parents too, as that woman who insulted Alfred and advised him not to come to the graduation party was present with her daughter at that party. Meanwhile, a large vehicle arrived and stopped at the door of the restaurant, and two men got out of it, then began to take out tightly closed boxes. The number of boxes was large. Each box carried a gift named with attendees. This was what surprised everyone, and they were all eager to know who sent those packages and what's in them. When the attendees finished eating their lunch and remember the beautiful days they spent together in school, especially the graduation party, which was wonderful, the two men who got off the vehicle began to separate them from the sealed boxes, which were gifts. Young people opened those boxes and were surprised when they found valuable gifts in them, some containing beautiful shirts, some containing thin leather handbags, and others containing ties and luxurious dresses. Everyone was happy with the gift that he found in the box, and every one of them showed his gift to the other and was proud of it. And in the meantime, they began to wonder about the person who sent them those gifts in order to thank him. The woman who insulted Alfred, whose name is Marissa, found a beautiful dress in the box on which her name was written, and she was very happy with it. Because she did not buy a dress for a while, and her financial conditions have become very difficult. Because her businessman husband abandoned her and her daughter after he discovered that she was cheating, and he left them to live in an old, worn-out apartment in extreme poverty, so she became a cleaner. When Marissa stretched the dress to measure and know what her daughter thought, a newspaper fell from the center of the dress to the floor. When the woman picked up, she saw the photo of the person on the cover. She was shocked and asked her daughter to look at that photo. There were two pictures of Alfred on the front page of that newspaper, one of him, a student, and one of him, a successful businessman. It turns out that the fancy restaurant is Alfred's property, and he owns many other stores, and when he learned that graduates from the school in which he studied would organize a party in one of his luxurious restaurants that he recently opened in the city in which he was born, he tried to know who they were exactly and was very happy when he learned that they were the graduates of his class. So he decided to give them a lesson they would never forget. Everyone saw Alfred's story that was written in the newspaper, and they all felt very shy because they insulted him so much, and they thought that he would always be a vagrant but the young man is in fact studied at the College of Commerce at the university and started working in a store, and he and his handicapped mother lived in a small apartment that he rented. After his graduation, he opened a small business and succeeded in it, 
Then he continued expanding his business until he became one of the most famous businessmen in that city, bought a new house, got married, and became famous. The end of the party was not as happy as it was waiting for. All of them felt ashamed and returned to their homes thinking of the young man who returned them the favor in his own way. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.